Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Connect WordPress with Telegram effortlessly in 2023. This tutorial covers the integration process step by step, allowing you to extend your chatbot's reach to the Telegram platform for enhanced communication. So guys, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So the first guys thing that you'll have to do is to go ahead and open botpress.com. Then you have to log into your account. This is the most obvious thing to do. Then here we are on this dashboard. So you have to create a new bot. So let's click here, add a new bot, and just wait a little bit until it is created successfully. And then here we're gonna rename it into Telegram chat bot and save. Now it has been saved and the name has been changed. So the bot, if you want to logs, etc., conversation, integrations as well, as you can see here, everything of these is gonna be closed. So to make them go open, we need to click on the edit button, and from there we will be able to publish it. And just like that, we going to be able to get to integrate other apps with it. So let's use the empty template. And here, basically, we are going to start working on this template, which is empty. Um, later on, we are going to go back to it and make some tests. But for now, we just need to go back to the dashboard. And there we go. So now this is the bot. This is Telegram chat bot with, that we are going to work on. So simply now, as you can see, there is still this, it is not published. So how can we make it go publish? Simply, we need to click on this publish button, which is right over here to publish this chat bot. So just wait a little bit until it is fully published. And this uh, weirdo thing will be removed. So as you can see, it has been removed successfully by now. So just click onto the integrations and then go to browse and hub and there you have it. So for Telegram to integrate it simply just go ahead and choose Telegram. And these are about Telegram. So you will be able to add this integrate support, these message types, you can add choices, add drop down, card, uh, carousel, uh, carousel, location file, video, audio, image, text, and markdown. You can also add message settings as ID and conversation settings as ID. So these are the things that you'll be able to use. So let's click here to install it and then start the integration process. So let's go here to bot, enable it like that. And here you will be able to find a whole article on how you can connect your chatbot with Telegram. So here as you can see you should have an account on telegram and a telegram bot so a telegram account and a telegram bot so as you can see to create a bot on telegram use telegram bot father the bot father will ask you for name and username then generate authorization token for your new bot so let's click here go there and contact bot father as you can see so botfather.io which is basically a uh, application that will help us to create telegram uh, bot so telegram bot father and you can either contact them through uh, as you can see here let me just wait a little bit uh, there we go here I am so now this is like bot father what can I can this bot do so bot father is the one but to rule them all. Use it to create a new bot account and manage your existing bots. So basically click here. And this is an example on how you can get your APIs and do a lot of things. But basically, if you do not have a bot, simply just have to create a bot. So this is the what they mean here. So for now, as you can see guys, now I am on this page of the article. Let's continue reading it. So here the name of your bot is the place in contact, these are in, uh, somewhere, the username is a short name, etc, etc. So here set up the Telegram integration in BotPress. So go to the integration hub, which I have showed you. So it is browse in hub and then add Telegram. Make sure that it is enabled and the webhook here uh, will be received in there. Here it is. And the bot token of your telegram bot so you should add here the bot token here then setting up a telegram so generate an authorization token you should do that and then do this now this is on how you can connect it with telegram so 
for this you have already connected with telegram you have already everything working now what can you make it do simply if you click on edit let me just show you this is what it might do in general so let me just click here let me just change that and i'm going to start making some adjustments so as an example uh, hello there and look hello and it basically said hello there let me just add another thing add card here i'm going to add wait for user i'm going to make it here and add another card and it's going to be here just go that to the top and add a text and it's going to be here and i'm fine thank you and uh, just like that uh, i'm gonna keep it and see what it is gonna do so let's try it out let's refresh and let's say hello hello there how are you and look i'm fine thank you so this is basically what a bot is gonna do you just have to make it function the way you want it you can give it options you can make it even go much deeper than that for example you can add conditions when someone says how are you or anything related to that it's gonna say thank you if else it's gonna say something else for example he's the one that's gonna ask you for how are you the wait for user inputs can be uh, for an amount of time it can be like limited with time not like a limited until someone actually sent something so it can have a lot of things to be added in here and to make it enjoyable uh, through using this uh, code logic path and you can even use images so you can add images here so let me just show you how you can do it click on image and we can add it over here we can add like a robot picture or let me add any random picture for example let's add this picture over here and look what will happen now so hello and as you can see it has sent me this image with hello there so it is very very useful guys as you can see uh, you can even add location card videos uh, options there is so as you can see here like bunch of options that once you feel like um, like you are done you will find new things to add in here and you will be able to discover even much more things you can even insert a customizable code uh, in python css uh, or not css c sharp any language that you know you can add it here and make it function as it is on vs code and yeah guys that was basically it for today's video if you do have any more questions make sure to leave them down below in the comment section thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial